Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Kimchika and we have a special first impression episode today. This game is everything, literally tiled to everything, and I am currently going I'm gonna type in my name. This game belongs to Kimchika, and it looks like I need a controller. Um I'm very excited. This is an indie game that I've been looking forward to for a couple months now. I saw the trailer, it got me teary for some reason, even with the silly rolling animals. If you've seen the trailer, you'll, you've seen it. Um, but I, I'm just excited. I don't know... I, from what I know, this game is more exploratory, so I think this won't be a full series. I just wanted to play for a little bit, kind of give you first impressions, gameplay, all that good stuff. So here we go. Oh. Oh, am I a star? A, think. Where did this come? Where did this come from? Where am I supposed to be going? Oh! What am I supposed to want here? Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm a elephant. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, sorry, my cover's on again. Hi, Kimchika, you found me. Finally, we've been waiting for you for such a long time. Ah, sorry. There we go. Notice my thought had the blue icon. Look out for others with this. We're here to show you what to do and help you navigate everything. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm just a little roller elephant. Boop a doop boo. Hey, buddy. I'm a oh, woolly mammoth. Press a polar bears. I don't know where where was the thoughts icon. Can I go on the water? <laughs> oh, those little seals. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's an icon. Is this my oh, penguins? Is this my herd? Ooh, this guy's stuck on a tree. Buddy, what you doing? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. <gasps> Everything sings. Singing is how all things communicate. Singing helps things find or avoid one another. It deepens bonds between some things and separate others. It's how they announce things announce their existence. So sing, sing all day long. I want to hear what you sound like, and so does everything else. For if others hear you, they might sing back. Sing to other animals. Sing. <gasps> ah! Hi! Hey, you sing back! Uh, buddy! Hi! This is interesting. Alright. Oh, they're all singing back to me. All right, where did that, where did, oh, hi, little deer, elk. Yeah, all right, I guess I should, I should progress. <laughs> that was a penguin. Oh my gosh, this is just so much fun. <laughs> it looks so silly though. This will all make sense, don't give up. Oh, how fitting. Keep looking and you'll find it. What am I looking for? Okay, I'll keep looking. Oh, I love it when they call back. Hi, friend. <laughs> oh, there is there's some there is a something. Let's see if that's what we're looking for. Hey, how far how far back do you think woolly mammoths go? might not always feel it, but you took trillions of generations of woolly mammoths getting mixed up all the way back to forever. 
It's incredible you made it through and finally arrived here. The other woolly, the other woolly mammoths around here are reflections of you from back then. What? Each with their own dreams and their own lives to live. As you meet other woolly mammoths, you'll sometimes feel inseparable from them and find where you really start and end up is to you. Join them by pressing or holding X when close. Join them? We're gonna make like an ultra mammoth? Hi, woolly mammoth! X. Oh. We're joined. <gasps> We're a tribe! Oh, let's get all the woolly mammoths. Yeah, join us. You'll never be lonely again. <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Party. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know who's part of our group and who isn't anymore. So many woolly mammoths. Wow. Hi, tree. I'm starving. It might make sense for me to sleep the spring out and wait for the next round of tree food to show up. Yep, that, that makes sense. There you are. Over time, you might find there's no right or wrong path to take here. As you explore, you might feel that parts of you need to go their own direction. Because you can't control everything at once. <laughs> at least not yet. Try letting go of a few things. Oh, goodbye. Oh, I kind of liked having all my friends around. That's okay. I can't control everything at once. I don't even know who I am. So what do woolly mammoths feel about snowy days? I can't stand them. They get my face all snowy and it itches like crazy. Oh, now my face feels itchy. Okay. I want to know what this thing is. Boop-a-doop. Herd mentality. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what do you make of all the small things around here? All the little plants and cr little creatures? Are they here for you, or are you here for them? It's hard to imagine that everything could be here for each other, because you can only see things from a woolly mammoth's perspective. Just as I can only see things from a woolly mammoth's perspective. But if you want to, you can always see things from a little thing's point of view. Try it. Descend. Get close to something small. Hold down L2. Select using L and R. Release L2. Wait, so... Let's get something small then. Oh. That thing. Whoa. Remember this place and remember what you are. Remember, Simba. Keep it in mind as you go beyond here. You might need to find a way back to it. Remember this crystal? Oh. I'm a Megalosaurus. Oh, 1%. So, oh my gosh, wait. There's nothing smaller near you? But that's smaller than me. seal. I don't want to go by a polar bear. Wait, but there's nothing smaller than me. This guy's smaller. <laughs> oh. Baby seal can descend to, but I can't. Oh my gosh. <gasps> a mushroom. 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 Badger, 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 badger. What? You are a Rusula, Rusula Medica? Fungus category. <gasps> I'm just gonna get smaller and smaller. Ah, I'm a Goomba! <laughs> well, I'm Porcini, Porcini. This is amazing. 
friend. It looks like you've seen things from a little thing's point of view. I have! Now you might be wondering what it's like to see things from the other way around. To see things from bigger things' points of views. Of all the points of view you can find, which one is the right one? Hold R2, release R2 to ascend. Oh, but I kind of like being tiny for a little bit. <laughs> Who knew being a mushroom could be so much fun? I thought this guy had a thought bubble. I'll be a flower. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Will you go on a date with me? I'm completely insane, but I'm beautiful. No, thank you, Mr. Plant. I like the sound I make as I move around in the snow. Let me talk to the fungi really fast. You are Poppy. Flower category. What's happening in your world? I hope you find love. There's nothing else that matters as much. Aww. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. So you can see the wolf think it's a wolf and a seal that I was but nothing matters because it's so blurry because it's like that's my perspective oh this game Ooh, I want to be a frog is, is frog smaller than me frog is bigger how can I be you frog there you go <laughs> okay. okay I can see how people would spend hours just changing shapes. Not a whole lot happens here. It's peaceful most of the year. Oh, hi, little fungi. I was you. Other fungus around here like the spring, but I wish it was over. Life is hard enough already. Oh, man. Okay, let's, let's ascend. What am I? Oh, I'm grass. Was bond with this first. Oh. Oh yeah, I got a sing rough grass open plant category. <gasps> the grass is singing with me. Oh my gosh, this is like Pocahontas level. <laughs> They're sleeping. What do you want to say, little guy? What there is. I find it a little difficult to say what the subject matter of this seminar is going to be because it's too fundamental to give it a title. I'm going to talk about what there is. Now, the first thing, though, uh, that we have to do is to get our perspectives with some background about the basic ideas which influence our everyday common sense, our fundamental wow. notions about what life is about. Ideas of the world which are built into the very nature of the language we use and of our ideas of logic and of what makes sense altogether. And these basic ideas I call myth, not using so the word play, myth so little work, so to mean work, simply something so untrue. Play, probably going to feel one or the other. But to use the word myth in a more powerful sense. A myth. I feel like something really, really is small image. is going to happen than something big and something small. In again. terms of which we try to make sense of the world. That's the way it all seems to go. I don't want to interrupt. It's gonna take a miracle for me to stay alive the whole spring. Oh, thoughts absorb into the mind. Press the back button to open it. Oh, for and to join to work, you must be close to another white feather. Okay. Oh my gosh, wait. I haven't tried that yet. Join other feathers. Can we have a flying party? Where are, where are my feather my feather friends? Hi. Oh my gosh. Look at us go! Look at me. I'm way more harmonious than you. I'm really in tune with nature. Can you tell? I'm vibing to the universe's song way. Way more than you or anyone else. I'm so enlightened and I just get it. 
Sorry if you're not on my level, brah. I'm just gifted, I guess. Peace. <laughs> Bye, brah. Or what is this? Is this rock? A snowball? Snowball! Okay, so I want to try and find something big to get into. Oh, but first I'll talk to this guy. World that peoples. Oh, this will be perfect to listen to while we explore. You, as a human being, you grow out of this physical universe in just exactly the same way that an apple grows off an apple tree. So let's say the tree which grows apples is a tree which apples, using apple as a verb. And a world in which human beings arrive is a world that peoples. And so the existence of people is symptomatic of the kind of universe we live in. Just as hair on a head is symptomatic of what's going on in the organism. But we have been brought up not to feel that we belong in the world. So our popular speech reflects it. We say, I came into this world. You didn't. You came out of it. We say, face facts. We talk about encounters with reality. As if it was a head-on meeting of completely alien agencies. And the average person has the sensation that he is a somewhat that exists inside a bag of skin. A center of consciousness, which looks out at this thing and what the hell is it like going to do? I'm almost even going in a circle. Am I even uh, getting I recognize closer? you. You kind of look like me, and uh, I've seen myself in a mirror. Hmm. And uh, you, you look like you might be people. <laughs> so maybe you're intelligent. Maybe you can love too. And uh, maybe perhaps you're all right. Some of you are anyway. You've got the right color of skin, or you have the right religion, or whatever it is. You're okay. But there are all those people over in Asia, <laughs> Africa. And they may not really be people. When you want to destroy someone, you always define them as unpeople. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna. Maybe I'll just instead of going big, I'll go. I'll go down. <clears throat> oh wait, no, I don't. That's ascend. So let's descend. So what are we now? Baby snowball. Baby snowball posse! Snow chunk. Yeah, there we go. Look at us go. I gotta tell you, the snowflakes around think they're so unique. Yeah, those stupid snowflakes. Snow chunks is where it's at. I wonder how small we can get. Maybe that'll be the goal for this episode. Um, hello? Nope. Everyone! Everybody! Maybe if we all got together, we'd eventually be a whole snowball. There we go. Life mostly involves going out and entangling yourself with others. But I want to show you another way of getting mixed up. Oh. A very beautiful thing you can do, and that's dancing. To dance is to move in a pattern and not towards anywhere in particular, to make yourself the destination, and to enjoy never quite arriving. Dancing always takes two, but the more the merrier. Everything dances a little differently, so try doing it with different things. Join with two more things and press Y to dance. Hey, dance with me, guys! Wow! Oh my gosh, a new sharp pebble is ready to be born! Dancing makes more! <laughs> oh my gosh, we're just making sharp pebbles. Always. Thoughts absorb into the mind. Press the back button to open it. Whoa. Hold A to keep producing more sharp pebbles. Whoa. <laughs> We're singing and dancing. Um, oh. oh, I see. Okay, I can just keep moving and then that stops it. Wow. Ooh, 
another idea altogether. We have this hostility to the external world because of the superstition, the myth, the absolutely unfounded theory that you yourself exist only inside your skin. Now, I want to propose another idea altogether. Billions of years ago, you were a big bang. Now, you're a complicated human being. But so, we define ourselves as being only that. If you think that you are only inside your skin, you define yourself as one very complicated little curly cue, way out on the edge of that explosion, way out in space and way out in time. And we, then we cut ourselves off and don't feel that we are still the Big Bang. But you are. Depends how you define yourself. You are actually, if, if this is the way things started, if there was a Big Bang in the beginning, you're not something that is a result of the Big Bang. You you're not are something that the Big Bang. is a sort of puppet on the end of the process. You are still the process. Huh. You are the Big Bang, the original force of the universe coming on as whoever you are. See, when I meet you, I see not just what you define yourself as, I see Mr. So-and-so, Miss So-and-so, Mrs. So-and-so. I see every one of you as the primordial energy of the universe coming on at me in this particular way. I know I'm that too. But we've learned to define ourselves as separate from it. I, I really enjoy this game here. I'll just pause it. I really enjoy this game. I, I'm going to be playing it more, probably just by myself, um, not making a series out of it or anything. Exploring the world and sort of seeing what happens. Uh, if I think you know, it, it would be a good series, or if you guys want to see it, let me know, but I feel like this is good. This is a game that you should play and experience yourself more so than maybe watch with others, especially because me talking over some of the, um, sort of the lecture sections, um, I don't want to do that and distract you guys from what he's saying, because that's, that's the important part, right? So, this is everything. This is my first impression. I give it a thumbs up. Um, it's slow paced, but that's kind of what I was looking for in this game, was something that just allowed me to explore. I think the only thing is just trying to figure out the whole ascending, descending, how I can kind of get past the area I'm in. But I guess that's part of the, the life lesson of, of some sort. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out, um, I do sort of indie features, let's plays, and I guess this was my first, first impression. So. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Okay guys, I figured it out. I was holding down the L and R buttons and you can just tap it. And I wanted to show this to you because this kind of blew my mind and this is why my first impression is amazed. Um, now that I figured out the mechanic of how to ascend and descend, I'm now a rock and you can see I'm this, I'm this boulder and time is passing by so much more quickly than it was than when I was tiny. And if I go up, let's see, is this ascend? Let's go into spruce. You can start seeing just, oh my gosh, the skyline is just amazing. And if I go even further, ha! Huh, this is, this is incredible. I'm a landmass. Oh my gosh. So this is where I stopped and then I started re-recording. <gasps> All of the weather. Oh my gosh, clouds. Oh, but wait, what's that? This is another landmass. Oh my gosh, and then I can go into another landmass. Goodness. Let's see it. Oh. I don't even know what to say. This is just kind of. Although, this is like when I start thinking about space, you're a green planet. 
Are there any others? You need to be close to something to join it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Is this going to cause some sort of disaster? That's kind of what I'm wondering. <laughs> closer. I guess as a planet, this is fast. Hope I'm not ruining life on this planet. <laughs> Am I even getting closer to what I want to get closer to? I can't tell if I'm moving. <sighs> Sorry, I got distracted. Um, when I think about space, sometimes it kind of freaks me out because you just think about how expansive and big it is. And this game kind of does that. But here, let's descend. I kind of want to see what it's like to be a cloud. <gasps> or a boat! Oh my gosh, okay. I don't want to get... <laughs> too distracted. Because I wanted to finish this out. But I just, I just wanted to show you this. So, <laughs> um this game is amazing yeah it just feels really really good to play okay so that's it for this episode this first impression I hope that left you with the sense of awe that it's leaving me right now um, and I will see you guys in the next episode bye